Nina, thank you. People are fed up now in Compton. They're demanding action after a rash of street takeovers and even a mob of looters. KCAL News reporter Rick Montanez has more on what's being done and what's not working. Stories of devastation and frustration here at City Hall. Neighbors say this all just needs to stop. The city says it has a plan, and the sheriff's department is planning to also add additional deputies from across the county over the weekends to respond similarly to how they show up for civil unrest situations. Remember this scene from over the weekend, a wild scene as about 100 people at least went from watching a street takeover to looting an Arco Mini Mart on Sunday around 2 a.m. Neighbors in Compton say it is simply just takes too long to shut this down, and they're tired of hearing and seeing those street takeovers and the sideshows along with the crowds that accompany them. Many showed up at the council meeting last night to complain and demand action, including one woman who says her brother, 27-year-old Raymond Oliveras, died as the result of a sideshow that started in Compton. There has to be a stop to this. This is organized crime. Spectating, recording him, posting him online, bumping music, and they made a joke out of my brother's passing. And she's talking about the burned rubber that often is ruining paint in the marked crosswalks, increasing danger for people who are out walking. The city has already installed what are called bots dots, those yellow dots in the middle of intersections, to try and deter people from spinning their tires through there. They are looking to add those in two additional intersections, but as we've seen before, Drivers are still spinning their tires and doing donuts, even where those bot stops are installed. This has been a problem for quite some time in Compton and the surrounding communities, and it's only grown worse in the past couple of months. Neighbors are hoping there's a resolution soon. In Compton, Rick Montanez, KCAL News. Yeah,